Let's start with the mammary gland. It is the most important structure present in the pectoral region. Definition of the mammary glands. It is a modified apocrine sweat gland present in the superficial fascia of the pectoral region. Location of the gland. It is situated in the superficial fascia of the pectoral region. A small extension from its superior lateral part, however, pierces the deep fascia of the axilla and goes into the axillary region. That part is known as axillary tail or spence. So, extent of the mammary glands. Uh, vertically, it extends from the second rib to the sixth rib. Horizontally, it extends from the lateral border of the sternum to mid axillary line. Shape of the gland usually, it is hemispherical bulge. And relations of the gland. When it comes to relation, the deep aspect of breast is related to the following structure one is the pectoral fascia and three muscles pectoralis major muscle, serratus anterior and external oblique muscle. Let's discuss the structure of the gland. The breast consists of following three components skin, stroma and parenchyma. Let's put the diagram and uh, after that under skin we will be discussing the nipple and areola. Nipple, it is a conical projection below the center of the breast, usually at the level of the fourth intercostal space. Areola, it is a circular area of pigmented skin surrounding the base of the nipple. It contains a large number of modified sebaceous glands, particularly at its outer margin. When it comes to stroma, it contains connective tissue and the fat. In connective tissue, there is one important ligament called suspensor ligament of Cooper. It mainly gives contour and shape to the uh, breast. Parenchyma, parenchyma or glandular tissue of the breast. It is the main component and helps in secretion of the milk to feed the newborn baby. It contains 15 to 20 lobes arranged in lobular fashion and each lobe further divided into various lobules and each lobule further divided into clusters of acini. And the produced milk will be temporarily stored in the lactiferous sinus and later drained via lactiferous duct and nipple. Blood supply of memory gland, so arterial supply. Memory gland is supplied by the following five branches of the arteries. From axillary artery, three branches will be supplying. One is the lateral thoracic artery, acromial thoracic artery through its pectoral branch, superior thoracic artery, and internal thoracic artery via its perforating branches and posterior intercostal artery. Venous drainage of the mammary gland takes place by the following veins. Usually the veins follow the arteries. So it is supplied by three important veins. axillary vein, internal thoracic vein and posterior intercostal vein. It forms two plexus in the breast. One is a superior venous plexus and another one is a deep venous plexus. Superior venous plexus will draining the internal thoracic vein and deep venous plexus will be draining the axillary vein and posterior intercostal vein. No supply. It is primarily somatosensory. It is derived from second to sixth intercostal nerves through their anterior and lateral cutaneous branches. Lymphatic drainage of the breast. So the knowledge of the lymphatic drainage of the breast is of great significance to surgeon because of the metastasis of the carcinoma of the mammary gland. So the, it is divided into two important components. One is the lymph node draining the breast and lymphatic drainage of the breast. Before that we will be dividing the mammary gland into four quadrant. One is the upper medial, upper lateral and lower lateral and lower medial quadrant. The red arrow mark will be showing the lymphatic drainage of the four quadrants to various lymph nodes surrounding the mammary glands. So let's start with the lymph nodes draining the breast. The lymph from the breast is drained into following group of lymph nodes. The prominent and major group of lymph node is the axillary lymph node. It has five components, anterior, posterior, central, lateral and inter internal memory lymph nodes, posterior intercostal lymph nodes and cephalic or deltopectoral lymph nodes. So remember that there are four 
major group of lymph nodes draining the mammary gland. One is the axillary group of lymph nodes, deltopectoral lymph node, and internal mammary lymph node, and posterior intercostal lymph nodes. So, as I already said, breast has been divided into four quadrant. One is the upper lateral, upper medial, lower lateral, and lower medial. So, let's start with the lymphatic draining the breast. The lymphatic draining the breast are divided into two groups. One is the superficial lymphatics and deep lymphatics. In the superficial lymphatics, it drains the skin of the breast except nipple and areola. Whereas, the deep lymphatic drain the parenchyma along with nipple and areola. And again, as like that of the venous plexus, the lymphatics also forms a plexus in the memory gland and that is also known as subareolar plexus of sepe. Remember that subareolar plexus of sepe. And it later drain into the anterior group of axillary lymph nodes. So let's discuss the quadrant wise. So the lower lateral quadrant will be draining the posterior intercostal lymph node and posterior and anterior group of axillary lymph nodes. Whereas lower medial quadrant will be draining the internal memory lymph nodes and subperitoneal lymph plexus. Upper lateral quadrant will be draining anterior and posterior axillary lymph node and upper medial quadrant will be draining the internal memory lymph nodes. So the anterior and posterior lymph nodes of the axillary group will be later draining to the central lymph nodes of the axillary lymph node and later they will be draining the apical group of axillary node via deltopectoral lymph nodes. Clinical aspect of the mammary gland. Carcinoma of the breast it is the most common cancer in females. It arises from epithelial cells of the lactiferous ducts. So the clinical features are presence of a painless hard lump. Breast becomes fixed and immobile that is due to infiltration of suspensory ligaments and retraction of skin and nipple due to infiltration of suspensory ligament, retraction of nipple due to infiltration and pudy orange appearance of skin that is due to obstruction of superficial lymphatics. So investigation means uh, how you will find diagnose the carcinoma of breast via physical examination, mammography and FNAC. Treatment mastoidectomy with axillary lymph nodes removal Mastoidectomy means will cut the whole breast. As you can see in the picture, they will be showing the retracted nipple and orange-like appearance.